The late Gino Eli Tumwini was the patron of the Uganda Arts Association at its inception in 1989. While chairperson of Uganda National Cultural Centre Board of Trustees, the fallen Gino Eli Tumwini came up with an idea of putting art and craft structures at the National Theatre grounds. So that's how he invited dealers and producers of the arts and crafts to come and construct structures here and pay a token to the uh, National Theatre as a ground rate. Vice Chairperson, National Arts and Cultural Crafts Association of Uganda, Noah Wamala Nyanzi, met the general at Nomo Gallery while he had gone to attend a meeting to try to get the association vibrant and relevant and for arts to be accepted in the mainstream. He remembers when the late Geno held his exhibition at the normal gallery to mark the day he lost one of his eye is when the gallery was threatened with extinction, National Housing Corporation was demanding the house. He put up structures next to the main building now, which many people now say that he took over the normal gallery. I remember having my 18th year, no, in 19, 2018, I had an exhibition at the normal gallery. They were wondering how I managed to have an exhibition at the normal gallery when General Tumin had taken it. Normal gallery as the space remains there, but he has structures where he operates from. The art and craft industry will remember General Eli Tumwine for raising a profile of artists and a role model for artists. A profile of an artist. Remember, we didn't have role models and uh, we didn't have high profile role models who would sit in a cabinet would sit in boardrooms and make decisions. Now you have a practicing artist who is the command of the, uh, of the NRA. You have a minister uh, of, of security who is a practicing artist. You have a member of parliament representing the army who is a practicing artist. So the profile of an artist was raised that way. Nyanzi says the country is not only going to remember General Eli Tumwine, but also gain from his works, hence requesting that the late works be displayed to have the public consume and enjoy it. He did not stop creating. He created up to the end. And his works will live on. And they will influence and inform future generations. What we have lost is a person. But what we gained are his works. If to honor General Eli Tumwine, if his works, especially when it comes to the fabrics with the uh, Hima art, uh, that's where he really had a lot of strength, if they could be reproduced and published widely, then that would be a good and befitting uh, honor to, to the general. Aliguma Ahabiona Asimwe, the communications coordinator across Culture Foundation of Uganda, attributed it to the late as one who promoted culture of Uganda through dressing, also being passionate about music. He was so interested in the uh, in the Bitenges, the traditional dressing. And for us at CCFU we've tried to, to promote the traditional wares of our country, of Africa. So I think in that aspect, we've lost a great pillar. The great speakers we've had, uh, even in the whole world, are those who reflect in their, uh, their cultures. General El Tumina was particularly that. Looking at the experiences that he, he had in the, uh, the Bush War, but also the experiences that he had uh, from his, his ethnicity. General El Tumina was so passionate about music. He's someone who has actually encouraged the whole generation, I think, over the years. General El Tumina succumbed to lung cancer in the wee hours of Thursday morning in Nairobi. I'm Navka Farida, in Kampala.